One of the more popular theories going around with Tears of the Kingdom is that it could be the middle game in a Breath of the Wild trilogy, but I think it could actually be the end of a trilogy, which is what I'll be talking about in this video. But before we jump into the main topic of today's video, I wanna say feel free to leave your Tears of the Kingdom theories in the comments because we are going to try to do one video per week leading up to Tears of the Kingdom and covering your guys' Zelda theories could be a part of that. So if you wanna see your theory get featured, feel free to drop it in the comments. Now, when I say Tears of the Kingdom is the end of a trilogy, what do I mean? Because most people just assumed that it was Breath of the Wild as the first game, and then Tears of the Kingdom, and then a third game. Or you could argue Age of Calamity, even though it's kind of canon, but not, and then Breath of the Wild, and then Tears of the Kingdom. And you know, those are both very valid theories. But what I'm bringing to the table is that the real trilogy is Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, and then Tears of the Kingdom. Now you might be thinking, that's crazy. These games have nothing in common. Like Skyward Sword had those weird funky motion controls and it was in the sky and it was just kind of weird. And then we got Breath of the Wild, which is like at the end of the timeline and Skyward Sword's at the beginning and all this random stuff. And that's why I think they're part of the trilogy because this is the end of the Zelda timeline with Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. This is where the Zelda team, I think, is trying to end the current timeline and maybe soft reboot or just reboot once Tears of the Kingdom is out. Now, since Skyward Sword is at the beginning of the timeline, it covers the creation of the Master Sword, the origin of Demise's Curse, which has carried throughout all the Zelda games up until this point. And then you get to Breath of the Wild, which is more about the Master Sword is kind of broken and destroyed, but then gets fixed. But then as we see in Tears of the Kingdom, it is destroyed, which would lead you to believe that Demise has maybe escaped, but that's a totally different theory for another day. And there are a lot of things in Breath of the Wild that point to it being at the end of the timeline, especially the line where Zelda says that Ganon has given up on reincarnation and has assumed the Dark Beast Ganon form because he's not worried about reincarnating again. This is his last ditch effort, which I don't know how that plays into Tears of the Kingdom with the whole Ganondorf corpse under the castle, but I'm sure that'll all kind of work itself out once we play the game. Now, back to the trilogy idea. Now, another popular theory going around with Tears of the Kingdom is that it is at the end of the timeline since it's a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild. I think that's pretty safe to assume because the general consensus is that Breath of the Wild exists at the end of all three timelines, which then kind of just unifies them back together into one, with Tears of the Kingdom being the next game after that, which would end the timeline. It would make a lot of sense if the Zelda team wanted to use Breath of the Wild to unite the timelines all back together after the split in Ocarina of Time, and then use Tears of the Kingdom to essentially end that storyline so they can move forward with a different timeline or something in the future. Now, obviously there's the story side of things and you know why this theory could hold up based on the story, but I wanna step outside of that for just a second and say, there may be another hint that Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are all part of a trilogy because we've seen Nintendo put a trilogy of games on Switch before. And that trilogy is the Xenoblade Chronicles trilogy. Now, Xenoblade Chronicles originally released on the Wii, and then it got ported over to Switch, but only after Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out, and then Xenoblade Chronicles 3 came out last year. So now we have all three, as you can see, Xenoblade Chronicles games on Switch. You can play the entire mainline Xenoblade Chronicles trilogy on Switch. And I think Nintendo might be doing something similar with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, because if you'll remember, what Zelda game recently got ported to Switch? The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Now you could argue this game getting ported was just because it was 10 years old and they needed a port and they could redo the motion controls because the Joy-Cons have better motion controls and that's all true and fine and dandy, but I don't think it got ported just for those reasons. And if you look back at the original reveal trailer for Skyward Sword HD, Eiji Aonuma talked about how they used Skyward Sword as inspiration for Breath of the Wild with the stamina and the glider. And then you can now see that we're going back to the sky in Tears of the Kingdom, which Eiji Aonuma has said is very similar to Skyward Sword. Now, all that to say, I think the true trilogy, once everything is said and done, will be Skyward Sword, and then Breath of the Wild, and then Tears of the Kingdom. But I don't I don't have that case yet because the game's not out. But we will have a full Zelda trilogy on Switch, and I think that is probably where they're going 
with Tears of the Kingdom. So yeah, that's all I really have for this theory. It's probably gonna be a bit of a shorter one, but it's something I wanted to put out there because it's been on my mind. Oh man, what if this is the real trilogy and there is no third game after Tears of the Kingdom? But we won't know until we see the game in May, which is coming up soon and hopefully we'll get some more news soon because I'd love to know more about Tears of the Kingdom, but Either way, we'll know soon enough. Now, do you agree with my theory? Do you think Tears of the Kingdom is the end of the Skyward Sword trilogy? Or do you think it's the middle of the Breath of the Wild trilogy? Let me know by dropping a comment down below. And if you enjoy this video and you want to see more Zelda theories like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can help us grow and we can make more content like this. Now, you can go check out whatever video is right here. I'm sure it's a really great video since it's on this channel and this video is really great and, you know, the thumbnail looks really cool, so you should just click on it. And if you're still here, go click on that video because this one's over.